Hey, check this out. Kids go home tomorrow. House finna be quiet as a bitch, man. So f it. Boosty badass is back, man. All go pool party. All go piss pool party. And I mean it, man. This third. We finna turn up, man. F all that, man. I gotta enjoy my mother life, man. <laughs> all go piss pool party. I'm about to be all up in the go piss party. Y'all better hurry up and get y'all tickets. Send pictures of your piss, and it better be dark. It better be gold, man. Piss pool party at Boosie Estates. Invites only, man. Invites only. Hit my DM, man. All go. at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. and seats are first come, first served within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Up next, Trump. Trump has hired Gunner's lawyer. Now, this says a lot. That means that Trump plans to snitch. I should have had all the mug shots up here on everybody <laughs> in that picture, okay? Because that was the only way they got Gunner out of jail. He said, I didn't snitch. I ain't no rat. <laughs> the, fed, the, the, the state dropped it, Fulton County, because you know they messy now. They real messy. Put it all on social media of him saying, are you a part of YSL? I should have wrote that skit. We, put, we filmed the whole skit for the Atlanta show. I ain't, I ain't snitch. I, I don't know. I ain't part of YSL, but that's YSL over there. Yeah, so I said this is a deal maker. This is not the type of lawyer that goes to trial. I don't think Trump wants to go to trial. I think Trump wants to make a deal, and he's saying everything that he did, he did, was legal, but he never said when he got off that plane when he left being booked in that nasty-ass jail down there at Fulton County because that thing is horrible. I got booked in that thing. That thing is hard. It smells like piss on arrival. I said, what are the COs doing all day? Can they at least throw some bleach or some pine saw on the floor? Damn. Why it's got to smell like piss? You know? And no, forget that. Make them take showers. Bleach it down. Do something. That's why he's talking about this is the most horrible experience ever. I know that smell. Let it get anybody. So I agree with you, Trump. I sure do. Um, they could at least wash it down there. Now, um, but this particular lawyer here, he's not a trial lawyer. Um, you know, he did hire Drew Finland, uh, Offset's lawyer. Uh any rapper's lawyer, I guess he was just a little bit more flashier than what Trump wanted. Trump said he didn't want his lawyer flashier than him because he do wear plaid suits and checker suits uh, to the courtroom. But this one's, you know, he's behind the scenes. This is the first time we've really even seen his face. This is the one that Young Thug should have hired, okay? 
Um, because that one he he got right now getting strip search, going through the courtroom, going through the courthouse and everything, getting accused of bringing them in paraphernalia and all types of stuff to get high on. So if they lose, they not even gonna remember losing because they're gonna be high off of what he done slipped them in through the courthouse. Okay. And so, but this one here, he is he is brought in to make a deal on behalf of Trump trying to overturn an election using uh bully tactic tactics and con- you know, all types of theories saying that the, the, the elections was rigged and stuff. And so um, you can expect some snitching, some 6 9 and going on here real soon, okay? <laughs> and he's going to give Rudy Giuliani to the dog. See, really? <laughs> give me him. Give me him. He's the only one. I'm telling you, out of anybody that's been locked up and charged down there by that, that DA, okay, He's been the only one gonna to successfully get out. She throwing out Rico's like she throwing out candy. And so if he figured out how to get him out, this is who I would go for too. Make a deal because she takes a good deal. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Kim and Croy. So uh, they have, after going, filing for divorce and, uh, okay, almost losing their house. They borrowed money, got the house off the uh, auction block. Um, taxes came through, said they owed like over a million dollars in taxes. Uh, they filed for divorce. She said she was looking for a big papa number two. She was ready to go back to being a, from a wife to a side bitch. Uh, and so after nobody... Uh, you know, bit when she sent out, you know, the cat call uh, uh, and wanted to take her on as a menopausal side bitch. Uh, she went back to her husband and decided to go try to work things out down on Old National at Creflo Dollars uh, uh, Marital Ministry um, with a mini skirt on and mini dress on. I said, what is she going to church with a body dress on for? You can tell the, the whole the ones that are holes at heart and they say they saved, sanctified, and, and just chained and filled with the Holy Spirit, they still go to church just 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 branded as a whole. You know what I'm saying? She just can't even help it. Her husband had on a full suit and walked her right in with a mini dress on. I said, damn. Uh, <clears throat> hoping to get spiritual counseling. That worked for a few. Um, and then, of course, the reality set in that, you know, they ain't got it. <laughs> they ain't got it. Mm-mm. And money can really make or break you. And money made them, well, money made her feel secure when he had it. But when he ran out, she ran trying to go get it somewhere else. But she realized it was a lot of years that had passed and she had been out of the game. And, you know, her, 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 her cat wasn't as firm as it was, you know, as what she's putting her daughter on to right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway. <clears throat> got to keep it uh censored over here okay i don't want to be talking about no children however but she grown brielle she grown so but i mean she's doing the same thing as her daughter but now she don't lie auctioning purses and things like that and then uh went and filed for divorce again again so i I think it's humiliating to her anytime somebody says in the comments when she posts a purse they ain't got it either so (laughs) And it really, you know, when you broke, it really, if you don't have a strong foundation, it can really separate people. It can separate you from yourself. It can separate you from the person that can help you because two people are better than one in order to help tackle a debt. And all they both need, and I can help them with that, is a bankruptcy. That's it. Everything is done. That's it. They'll be able to keep the house, the cars, the purses, the bag, everything. The kids, they're going to be able to keep it all. Her wigs, everything. And she's going to be able to go to work and make monthly payments over the next five years by reorganizing and filing bankruptcy instead of filing for a divorce because a divorce is more expensive too. It just doesn't make sense. Then you're going to be fighting over, well, who's going to take over the taxes? Who's going to pay this? Who's going to pay that? No, that's not how you do it. File for bankruptcy jointly. Pay the debt off, build yourselves back up, throw him to the rooms on, on, on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and be done with it. And take your ass back to the house. There's a way out. I don't know why people scared. 
Hey, you know, there's people in this, people in this industry still think you can't even, you, you know, never heard of that you can fix your credit or, or file bankruptcy and start over and still have good credit. I filed bankruptcy. My, my credit score went from 800 to a 643. Right? I had American Express, platinum cards, everything, right? Gone, just gone, gone, right? I said, damn. Took me 10 years to get them American Express cards. But I said, but it took me 10 years. It took me a little sooner to get them now because I, I know how to do it now, you know? But now I looked at my credit score the other day. It's a 680. 680. How, how do I have a 680, 10 points from 700 in a bankruptcy? And it's, I, I filed in May. In May. Yep, you think I'm lying? I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. I sure am. Y'all know I posted it before. I'll post it again. But that's pretty good. Don't get, don't let me get a trade line around here, okay? It's over. It's a wrap. I'm applying for everything with the court's permission. <laughs> but I think they can, they can, they can work this out. They just, you know, it's, it's stressful being in the public eye and going broke, you know, because you're worried about what everybody's saying about you and thinking about you, but you can really use this as a moment to redefine yourself and come out better, you know? Just like how when you you buy a wig and you wear it down and then it's real hair, so you wash it and you send it off and you steam it, you know, sort of like Oriental rugs too. You know, Oriental rugs are meant to last a lifetime. You just got to clean them. You know, a lot of people don't clean their rugs and they want to throw them out. You know what I'm saying? You don't throw it out. You just clean it, repurpose it, put it on the floor. Smells like new. No one would ever know. Y'all got to stop this. Moving on. 